Okay, we're on the Are You Ready page. This is page 258. We're getting ready for module 10. Read the directions. It says complete these exercises to review skills you will need for this module. We start by reviewing parentheses. Remember that you do the operation inside the parentheses first. And then you perform the operations outside of parentheses. So on number one, I only focus on 20 minus 13. That's 7. Then after I do that, I do 11 plus. 11 plus 7 is 18. If you think you can try these, go ahead and hit pause, and then hit play when you're ready to check your answers. All right, number two, we're going to perform this operation first, 10 minus 7, that's 3. And then this operation, 14 minus 12, that's 2. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Number three, I'm going to do 4 plus 17, that's 21. And 16 minus 9, that's 7. And 21 minus 7, that's 14. Number 4, 23 minus 15 is 8, and 18 minus 13 is 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Number 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 7 is 16, times 8 is 48, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, it's 128. Number 6, I've got 2 plus 3 is 5. That's going to be times 11 minus 5, that's 6. 5 times 6 is 30. All right, let's move on. The next set is called Words for Operations, and the example is write a numerical expression for the quotient of 20 and 5. And what we're trying to do here is not solve 20 divided by 5, we're trying to write it out. And we're practicing our vocabulary. So the directions say write a numerical expression for each word expression. So what that means is write what the math problem is, don't solve it. The difference between 42 and 19 means 42 minus 19. The key here is that I know that difference is a subtraction problem. Product, more than, and decrease. That tells you what the operations are. So number 8, the product of 7 and 12, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean do 7 times 12, it means write 7 times 12. I want you to know what product means. More than means add. 30 more than 20 means I add 20 and 30. And number 10, 100 decreased by 77 means 100 minus 77. You don't have to solve those. We're just writing each, we're writing the numerical expressions. All right, on the bottom of the page, we are going to solve because it says evaluate, and that means solve. Evaluate, and we've got some parentheses going on here. And one thing you may not know, we've, we've talked about this, but not a lot. One thing you may not know is when you have a number and parentheses right next to a number just like that. That means 3 times 8. And so I'll have to choose, do I do 3 times 8 or do I do minus 15? I do 3 times 8 first, that's 24. And 24 minus 15 is 9. And on number 12, 4 right next to 12 means 4 times 12 is 48. Plus 11 is 59. I've got two sets of these problems on number 13. I've got 3 right next to 7, that means 21. I mean, it means 3 times 7, that's 21. And I also have uh, 4 right next to 2 means 4 times 2, that's 8. So number 13, I've got 21 minus 8, that's 13. Number 14, it starts to get a tiny bit trickier. Uh, what I do on 14 is I first do 2 plus 3, that's 5. And then 5 right next to 4 means 5 times 4, that's 20. And now I have 20 minus 12 is 8. Number 15, I've got 14 minus 5, that's 9, and that's in parentheses. Right next to 9 means 9 times 9, that's 81, minus 42. And this is going to be 39, and I can do that mentally because what if I pretended this was 41? 81 minus 41 would be 40, but it's one more than 41, uh, so it's not going to be 40, it's going to be 39. I have to take one away. And number 16, 7 right next to 8 means 7 times 8, that's 56. And 5 right next to 8 means 5 times 8, that's 40. And 56 minus 40 is 16. All right, this video is just going to keep rolling and go right into the next page. We're going to go do the vocabulary from the reading startup page. Let's read the directions here. It says visualize vocabulary, use the review words. Let's go like this. Use the review words, that's these, to complete the graphic. 
you may put more than one word in each oval. So that often means we should do a couple. I'm going to change the size here so I can see everything. So my options are these review words up here. And I've got base, exponent, numerical expression, operations, and order of operations. And let's go decide where everything can go. What are these things called? This multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Those are called operations. So I would put the word operations here. And 2 plus 1 plus 3. What is that? That is a numerical expression. And what would you put in this one? I would put several words in this one. I would put base in this one because the base is 2. I would put exponent in this one. The exponent is to the third power. And I would put order of operations on this one because one of the order of operations is um, to uh, solve, it's number two in fact, it's to solve uh, problems with exponents. So that's the way I'd fill in the top. Let's go ahead and move on. We've got some new words here. This one's called understanding of vocabulary and we're supposed to use the preview word. So I'm going to put it, how can I, I'm going to make it a little, a little bit smaller one more time. Supposed to use the preview words for these. Here's our preview words. The uh, options include algebraic expression, coefficient, constant, equivalent expression, evaluating, like terms, term, and variable. I recognize that some of these are new and you won't know them, uh, so I'd be happy to help you. An expression that contains at least one variable is an, well, it's got to start with a, a vowel, and the one that makes sense on this one is an algebraic expression. And that's a fancy way of saying if. I might even show you a picture of an algebraic expression. A regular expression is something like uh, 5 plus 7. It's just a math problem. An expression is just a math problem. An algebraic expression is when we use um, variables. So let's say I did 5 plus y. We don't know what y is, so therefore it's called a variable. This is an example right here of an algebraic expression, 5 plus y. All right, moving on. Number two, a part of an expression that is added, added or subtracted is, well, what gets added or subtracted is called a term. It's just a number that we add or subtract is called a term. Number three, a blank is a specific number whose value does not change. Well, if it doesn't change, that means it's constant. It's constant. These were meant to be preview words, which means you're not expected to be masters at these yet. We're going to go over these terms in this next, in module 10, uh, but you don't have to master them yet. Okay, good job. You're done with the two, uh, two first pages of the lesson. You're done with page 258 and 259. You can move on.